Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages for new Zoho Desk tickets. So every time a ticket is raised on your Zoho Desk, then a message on WhatsApp will be sent as a notification. We are going to use Interact to send template messages on WhatsApp in this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect. Here our trigger will be the new ticket raised in Zoho Desk and our action will be to send message on WhatsApp and we are going to integrate these two applications. So let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn whenever a ticket is raised in your Zoho desk, then a message will be sent to your WhatsApp chat using Interact. So let us quickly sign in into our account. That will take me to this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. So click on Access Now. And that will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Get WhatsApp Notifications for Tickets Raised in Zoho Desk. Click on Create. And then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You have two windows, trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So trigger is going to be our first application where we will be performing the event, the trigger event manually. And that will trigger this workflow. Therefore, the action application will perform the assigned action automatically. Before we start choosing our applications, make sure you have opened your Zoho desk and your interact in separate tabs so that you can connect your accounts with Pabli Connect and also keep a check of whatever actions you're performing. So the trigger application for this workflow is going to be Zoho Desk and the event will be Configure Webhook. Now, if you see under Configure Webhook, there were so many options which says Account Creates, Update, Contact Creates, Contact Updates, Ticket Creates, Updates, and then Thread Creates. So many things are there, which means that every single change that you make over here in your Zoho Desk will be visible in your response. So if you want a ticket ad only, then we are going to put a filter also over here in this workflow. But before that, whenever you will be creating this ticket, make sure that you are very clear of creating just the ticket and not a new contact. Connect your accounts, add new connection, connect with Zoho Desk. You have to enter the domain over here. So you have to go to your Zoho Desk and see the URL. It says desk.zoho.in. So you have to choose this in one. Copy it from here only and paste it. Otherwise, you can type it also. Not at all a problem. Click on save and then it's connected. You just have to click on accept and give access to Pabli Connect. Now your Zoho Desk and Pabli Connect are connected. Once this is done, all of the, these are already filled and you don't have multiple options also to choose. So you can overlook all of these ticket, comment, add departments and all that. But the webhook name, you have to provide a new and unique webhook. So this is not to be mapped from anywhere or copied. You are given this new name to webhook. So I'm going to name it as, okay, this is the webhook name I have. Now I will click on save and send test request and go to go back to my Zoho desk and see that what changes I'm going to make. Like it's waiting for a response. So we will come over here, add a ticket and here I will add contact name. So I'm going to add this name because this is my existing contact over here. All right. And I will just use this existing contact to create a new ticket. So the subject over here is okay. This is the one description is optional status is open and you can add a due date also till when you want it to be cured this and time set everything else is done. Click on submit. And the ticket is created. When you go back, you will see you have received a response over here. Now, this is the URL of the ticket raised. This is the title. And we have all the details related, the phone number and the department name, the contact details and the time also when the due date is set, which means that we have received the complete information from ticket created. But the type of event over here is going to be ticket add. So as this important note says that you have to filter that what changes you want to make. You want to send a message on WhatsApp whenever a ticket is raised. So we are going to put a filter over here. Filter, which is a feature built inside Pavli, makes sure that this workflow will continue to the next step only if this step by filter allows. So we are going to put over here a filter which says the type of this event is ticket add. It should be equal to ticket add only. Okay. So it should be equal to ticket add only. If it is contact add, ticket updated, then the WhatsApp message won't be sent. All right. So it says success and the condition is true, which means that this workflow will 
move ahead to the next action step but if whatever comes out to be the event over here in this response does not match ticket add then the whatsapp message won't be sent so we have applied the filter now our last action step over here is going to be interact interact also is whatsapp only we can send template messages on whatsapp using interact so choose the event over here send whatsapp template messages connect your accounts add new connection and you have to enter a secret key so you have to go to settings developer settings in your interact account so click on this interact account this will take you straight away to developer settings and over here you have the secret key copy it from here and paste it right here save and your accounts are connected now you have to enter the details of the person whom you want to send the message to and also the template name template is like a syntax which will be a set format you just have to change the particular settings according to the new tickets raised of new customers the language code header value and body variables all right so these are the important things that we will be filling now obviously a number is important so i'm going to put my country code over here so read the help desk that is given below use plus nine one for an example it's given because plus nine one is my country code so i'm going to use the same and number you can map it either you can map it from here but you want to get the message when the ticket is raised but you have to enter your own number here so i am entering my number like this now i have entered this number no full number is required because we have given the country code and the phone number both together over here now the template code name and language code so template is the syntax that you want to use like i am going to use over here my active templates are here and service request this is the one i want to use i will just change the variables over here with the details that i have received in the response from my trigger application so what is the name of this template is service request how do you get the code name if this is your url of the opened service request template then this is the code name which comes between template and view and you have to paste the code name over here so we will see that this is the code name from template to view copy this and paste it over here now do not map it it's not necessary to map because this template is never going to change the language code over here is en which stands for english it's given over here and if your template is also in english then you can manually put it en over here now if there is a header value you can map it over here otherwise it already has an header your request is created and now it's the time for body variables now you see that the template has these variables 1 2 3 4 in curly brackets right so what are we going to do we are going to put values over here for an example okay so what we do is see they have given that you have to put comma so what where what the first one will be the name of the person so we will map the name the name was jean this is the name then what was the next thing request title so what was the request title it was electricity problem so we have given this again a comma and then we have three so three is for what problem it is exactly so i'm putting over here as phone okay and then comma again and last is that engineer will visit your location on the date so the due date we can enter the due date over here so type over here due date and this is the due date you have entered this is done no full stuff nothing because we are just giving the variables over here as we have given the body variables now a position of cta button and the value of variable in dynamic url is also required so what does that mean is like this is my template and in my template i have given a button also under my message call to action all right you might have seen messages in whatsapp under which a link is given so how many buttons are there there is one button for me okay so if your template contains a cta button which means if it's one so choose zero and if it's more than one then choose two so right here i'm leaving it to zero there has to be a url over here which will take you so that this cta button will take you to that url for this as a sample i am entering the url of pably only and this is the url you can enter the url of your own website once this is done click on save and send test request and we have received this response over here the template name the phone number the e website over here and it says that the message is queued for sending via interact which means that it will be delivered soon so that which means that we were able to send a whatsapp message let us go and check have we received a message or not so this is my whatsapp and over here you can see that 
I have received a message, dear Jane Eyer, service request has been successfully created for your phone. An on-site engineer will visit on your location and this is the time given. And this is the complete message of the template that we created, which means that our workflow has been a success. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel. Thank you.